Hey everybody, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. How you doing today? Today I have a Samsung in here that needs a little repair job. Customer brought it to me and told me it has a virus. So I haven't done a Samsung yet, so I thought I would share it with you. How a Samsung is recovered or restored. I'm not sure what it needs yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is a laptop. Fairly recent machine. This is the Windows 7 version, the Pentium edition. So let's just go ahead and turn this computer on and see what the problem is. Well, the first thing I see here is the um, the w windows failed to start. Let's go ahead and um, use our arrows and just try to launch it normally and see what happens here. Usually what I'll do when I bring a computer in here that's unknown into the shop is I'll disconnect the internet and turn off the Wi-Fi to the computer so it can't connect you know with the outside world at all that way it won't infect my computers and and uh, it'll just be safer also I want to go in here and find out um, exactly how many applications and stuff she has in here if I should restore this machine or I should go ahead and just roll it back so right away I'm getting a bunch of pop-ups on this. Let's just answer no to this for now. So the first thing I see in here is an anti-security pro. And it looks like it's a virus scanner that's taken over. And that's what she said the problem was actually is she's got programs that she didn't ask for. Or she didn't think she asked for them anyway. Let's go ahead and, and look in our start menu here and go to my pictures. I just want to see how much stuff, if anything, is in here. There's just one picture there. Let's look in my documents here. Not much in there either. Some music. So she doesn't have much of anything in here actually, videos. And that's what she said too, is she used this mainly for Facebook games and email. And in fact, on Facebook is where she said she got the virus. She clicked one of the ads off to the right side. Okay, so there's not much in this computer um, really. So if I want to do a system restore, it's not that big a deal. I think this is more of a nuisance than anything. I don't think it's um, a destructive virus, but, you know, the customer doesn't want to see this in here. I'm just looking here through her list of programs and making sure that there's nothing in here that she'll lose if I were to um, wipe this computer out. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can restore this to an earlier time and that will probably get rid of this problem or we can just go ahead and restore it completely. And I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do for this machine because um, it'll give her a fresh start. She said when she bought this machine she was a beginner. And you know as a beginner we click on things that we didn't know any better so now that she's more experienced um, it'd probably be better to go ahead and just restore this machine to factory and really um, I would say that's probably the best thing okay so let me show you how to do this for a Samsung now that we've seen what it's done um, let's go ahead and restart or shut down Okay. Okay, the computer's off, and I've switched camera views here because I want to show you 
what to do when you turn on the computer. On a Samsung with Windows 7, it's the F4 key, and it's here. You want to locate that first, okay? So we're going to go ahead and turn on the power here and start tapping that F4 right away, and then watch our screen. And then you'll get this Windows loading file thing, okay? We'll just let that load up for a minute here. And you can see we're now going into the Samsung recovery solution. Yours might look a little bit different because there are different versions of this, but uh, you know, yours might say recovery solution 4 or something like that. So this is really easy to do and um, I just want you to know that if you decide to do this, you will be deleting your data on your hard drive. So make sure that you've taken everything off and saved it before you do this. And when you do this recovery, it'll bring it right back to factory condition just like when you bought it. So the first thing you have to do is agree to their licensing here to go any farther. I'm just going to agree. Now, if you do want a backup, they have a backup icon here that will launch a program to help you get your files off here first. We're just going to go for the restore because there's nothing really to back up on this uh, machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one, the restore function. There's a basic restore, a complete restore, and a data restore. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a complete restore. Okay, here. And what that will do is go ahead and format the hard drive. You can see that there was a backup right here on 216 2012 and that's when actually this computer was born and really Samsung put that in here. Um, for us to back up to. So that's selected. We're going to go ahead and back up to that. And we're going to go ahead and click Next here. And it's warning me that all the data will be deleted on the hard drive. We already went over that. Make sure that you have your power adapter plugged in for this. You want to make sure that you have plenty of power. If you're running on a laptop and your batteries die during this process that's not a good thing so make sure that you do you know plug in your laptop okay we're just gonna go ahead and click yes on this to start this and it's preparing this process does take some time and you need to practice patience I tell about that in all my videos about restoring certain Windows products. Um, a lot of times it'll look like the computer's not doing anything, but uh, you know, if you just wait it out, a lot of times it will come through. And you can see right down here the speed and the elapsed time. So we just wait this out, and as soon as something different happens, I'll be back. So just hang on for that. All right, very good. Well, you can tell that the um, Samsung recovery solution is now finished, and it wants me to press the OK button to re, um, restart. So let's do that now. That was one of the fastest recoveries that I've done in a long time. It didn't seem to put a lot of junk software on here, so that's really good. I would say it took probably about uh, maybe 20 minutes in total to do all that recovery. It's going to have more to come here, but that was the bulk of it. So let's see what happens next here. So it's almost just like when you bought it at the store where it says preparing for a first time use. And that's essentially what it did. It just rolled it back to a year ago when this computer was born. So you're going to have to answer quite a few questions here and check the clock and tell it where you live as far as your region. 
just the normal questions. I'll go ahead and go through a little bit of this with you so you make sure that you uh, fully understand this before I let, let you go. Okay, so I'm just going to select my language here. That's correct. Next. And I have to give this computer a username. Let me look at my customer's name here. And I'm not going to put a password in here right now because I don't know what she wants the password to be. So I'll remind her when she picks up the machine that she needs to put a password in. So let's just go next on this. And you have to agree to these licensing agreements. So let's click that and hit next. And for now, let's just go ahead and use the recommended settings here. And you want to make sure that your time of date clock is correct and you have your, your region selected. Okay, make sure that's all correct. Hit next. And this is where I could join a wireless network and I'm not going to do that now because this isn't my computer. So let's skip. Okay, so what I am going to do right now is go ahead and take my Ethernet cable and go ahead and plug it into this machine because I'm going to have to take all the updates and everything like that. So I'm going to need the Internet now. It goes right in there. Okay. It's safe to go ahead and plug that in now because we've already formatted the machine. So we're still waiting on this. I'll be back. Okay, well, we're moving right along here. The desktop finally popped up. And so did this Norton antivirus thing. I don't like to put these on, so I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to tell it the network we have, though, for the wired. Close that. So I'm going to just close this um, Norton thing. And we'll put our own on. I like to use Microsoft Security Essentials because it's free and I've had pretty good luck with it. But keep in mind that any antivirus is not bulletproof and you just have to be careful when surfing and use common sense. It would appear that it's done already. That's crazy, but this is one of the fastest installs I've ever had. Let's see if the internet works. So there is a delay in this. I don't know if it's because it's still loading up or it's the first time or what, but we'll give it a minute here and see if the internet pops up. Uh, let's just use this recommended settings on this. And it didn't pop up, but let's go ahead and close it and try it again. Maybe it wasn't ready yet. Maybe I'm rushing it just a little. Let's go with the internet again. Also, we might want to try to restart the machine too. Might help it to find the DNS server. So my cable is plugged in and there's no internet yet, so I think I'm going to go ahead and restart the machine. Oh, look, it just popped up. And it's wanting me to choose my add-ons and usually I'll disable everything. There's that Symmetrics, there's that Norton Toolbar, Bing Bar. Samsung, all this stuff really doesn't need to be enabled. It just slows it down. Done. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the control panel and uninstall and go ahead and get rid of that Norton antivirus. And the reason why I'm doing that is because um, I'm going to put Microsoft Security Essentials on for this customer. And you do not want two 
antivirus solutions at the same time so I'm going to go ahead and remove everything And of course what we're going to have to do too is spend some time with this machine and take the updates. Once you do the operating system of restoring it, you're going to have to go back through all the updates because this installation is like a year old, when it, the recovery partition is a year old. You know, a lot of changes, updates have happened throughout that year, so you're going to have to just sit there and take all these updates till they stop coming, and then you know that your computer is secure, and don't forget to put the antivirus on. So this is as far as I'm going to take you. I think you can figure out the rest. I just wanted to show you that F4 trick. Let's go ahead and um, go through the steps. So you turn off your computer, and you disconnect your Wi-Fi, okay? and then you turn on your computer and begin tapping F4 now this F4 is for the Samsung so that's really the trick of it uh, tap the F4 and then when it comes up follow it through and do a complete um, reinstall and you'll be fine just follow the prompts I hope you learned something out of this video please give us a thumbs up and let your friends know it helps us grow and it's good for our channel so thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.